just capturing the moment and it's the evening of when I caught Eric's Common. It's probably about nine o'clock in the evening now and just watching the, the day fade away. I had lots of text messages, lots of Facebook messages, phone calls and congratulations and stuff which I really, really appreciate. And uh, it's been a bit busy sort of replying to, have, to as many of them as I can. But this is the swim. My side of the swim, I'm on the left hand side of peg five. And I've got uh, these three rods fished in this area here. We've got a, a channel down here to the left, if I can just get round and have a look at it. That's the channel that runs down to peg six. Can't quite see it, but um, the left hand rod is the rod that I had the common on. And this is the area where I, I managed to fall in and slip down into that sort of deeper hole down there and get myself soaking wet and this rod here next to it is the rod that is fished on that side of the channel on the far side of the channel the one that i got uh, tangled up in whilst i was i was landing eric's but the left hand rod where i fished it to is a, a spot that paul hudson put me on which is just around the corner here you've got a set of snags around there as well as a, a small sort of inlet and when it rains a lot the water comes in there and it goes up to a nice little sort of shallow shelf which is about six or seven foot on top of it, but that's where I called him from. And the next one along, that one is on the opposite side of the, the channel in an area that is 13, 14 foot deep, right at the base of, of the channel. The channel itself is 14 foot all the way across and then it sort of gradually sort of climbs up towards uh, either margin. And it's just at the foot of that shelf where I caught my 38 on the other day. And the number three rod is just opposite there on a famous area in peg five which is known as the mcdonald's tree it's actually doesn't look like a mcdonald's tree anymore but it used to um, but there's a set of snags at the back there and a lovely big clear area just in front of them which is a, a prime area at this time of the year now there's not a lot of fish in front of us at the moment most of the fish are in front of peg 21 where they've been spawning and Arjun's had one of the best catches of this year already. A couple of weeks ago, he ended up with 86 fish or 87 fish, I can't remember exactly how many, um, in two weeks, including several fish over 30 kilos. So there's a lot in that area at the moment. But as somebody did say to me, the, the biggins will start wandering out during the course of uh, the next week or so. And lo and behold, that's when Eric's decided he wanted to wander out, come out and have a look. And apparently there's a few other big fish that, that come along straight after Eric so myself and Derek have uh, probably got a, 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 as good a chance as anybody of catching another big one over the course of the next few days because we're only on Tuesday we've still got tomorrow and and then big fish Thursday as well so there's every chance that uh, that something else could happen as well now my fourth rod that one is fished just amongst the woodwork over there loads and loads of features in this swim there really are the Sony bars and little islands and, and, and sort of small gaps that run through to the channels that lead to 21. But there's lots of good areas and you could really fill this swim with rods, there's that much uh, good potential out there. But um, that area, as I say, not done anything at the moment. That's the area that leads through to 21. I think they're really sort of stacked up in there, but um, there's been a few fish caught from peg six just down to my left. So maybe they're wandering out of the channels up there and then coming through into this area here. But uh, as I say, we've still got a few days left, so We'll see what happens. If you've seen any of my video blogs on rainbow before, then you'll probably know that I like to carpet feed the swim with particles and then fish a few boilies over the top. And basically that's all I'm doing on this occasion as well. And that's the tactic that I use to, to catch Eric's common as well. The only difference is on, on previous trips, I've tended to use the seed merchants to get my particles. But um, as of now, because I'm sponsored by Nash, I've, uh, I've got the new particle range. We've got the slicker hemp there. We've got the tiger nut slush. We've got the salted mini mix and the salted mega mix. I'm actually using Nash's tiger nuts as well, but I've not got any here on show because I've run out. And all I'm doing is then putting these together in a, in a bucket, mixing them all up and then putting some of this particle booster in. And these are my two favorites out of the range. There's quite a few in the range, but the slicker spiced hemp, to hemp oil I really like and the candy nut juice as well. And basically I'm just mixing them two together with all of these. And then as I say, putting it in a bucket and then base feeding the swim. At the moment I'm probably baiting each spot with about three kilos of particles and then I'm fishing a couple of kilos of, of boilie over the top. Now I've got two different boilies that I'm using on this occasion. I've got the, uh, the key which I've had such great success on over previous trips and I'm also using the Chigi Active and the one lo and behold that did the, 
the big fish, the Eric's Common, was was the was the key, which is no surprise because it is designed to to single out the bigger fish. But basically, that's it. It's pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. And then all I'm doing is fishing the rigs that I always use on the lake, which are a very simple setup. It's a snowman setup with a single bottom bait and a small pop-up, just to critically balance it on a size two. Um, with a around about sort of 12 to 15 inches of hook link, which I'll take a look at in a short while anyway. But that's basically how I'm feeding the swim. Amazing one of success. It was it was last caught about a month ago, about 89 pounds. So <laughs> I think it's going to be a new PB. Let's put it that way. Good lad. Oh mate, just blown away. Up. It was a comedy of errors. That was a, a Derek Fell performance, mate. It really was. Cheers for that. Because I fell in down here when the rod went. I fell in down here. Water went over my boots. I then got it stuck in the snag over there. And uh, when I got it stuck in the snag, I was trying to lift the snag up. And as I lifted the snag up, I put it on top of the boat. The boat went under the under the water. A load of water started gushing in. Not loads, but enough to sort of make you sit there and think, oh, I'm going to lose this. And then I got it out of there, it went over to the left, it gone in a snag there. And then I got it out of that one. It went into another snag a little bit further along, and all the time it was just a really, really heavy fight, a really doggy fight. And when I saw it on the surface, I'm, I, I, like I say, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced it's the fish that everybody wants out of this lake. Right, that is definitely Eric's. You got it video, mate, yeah. Uh, there you go, there's his tail, look at him. It's definitely the big old boy out the, of out the lake. Last cord at 89 pounds. You videoing that? Yeah? yeah. Last cord at 89, so. Can somebody just pull the. That out for us. Cheers, mate. Oh, yeah. oh. oh boy, you are a mega. Let's give him a breather for a bit. My heart is racing. I've got a dread to think what yours is doing. Like. Oh, I saw, saw it sort of head on and I thought, that's a big fish, you know, that's a big fish. But I thought it was like a red, I know there's a red mirror in here. Yeah. It's like I've got a ready tint to it. Yeah. I thought it was that. And I knew it was a big one. And then, uh, you know, when, it, when I got it on this, up to the surface and I see it was a common, I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> it's just oh. ice. I haven't oh. seen you beam like that for a long time. Oh, well, you just don't expect to break your PB, <laughs> mate, never. You know, when I got out 83 last year, I thought, you know, you have to go somewhere like Euro Aqua to get it. And, and, you know, to do not... it at a place like this Yeah, as well. to get it from a proper lake. This is a proper right. lake. This is a proper water. And to get the, the jewel in the crown. 86 and a half. Yes! <laughs> the key. <laughs> what a bait. Well, I've had such a good run of fishing last night, last night and a uh, nice misty morning when I woke. All the rods really quiet. Derek's not had anything either and uh, just sitting there having my breakfast and my left hand rod has just literally just melted off. One of those takes that you sort of, you all sort of hear about, it was one of those, it, literally the tip's just gone melting round to the left and fish, whatever was on the end, just surged off and then it was a comedy of errors as the I fell in, um, up to me, up to my knees, got soaked, the boat got stuck, I got one of my lines all mixed up in one of my other lines and uh, into a snag, out of a snag, into a snag, out of a snag and lo and behold sometimes things are meant to happen for you and what we've got here is the biggest fish in the lake, fish known as Eric's Common at 86 and a half pounds which you know last week I was at Church Lake in Essex and I dreamt about catching the four before and this week I came to um, came to Rainbow thinking, God, I'd love to catch Eric's and bang, you know, two out of two in two weeks. It's the sort of stuff that I'm used to typing up on catch reports at Carp Talk, people ca having mega red letter days and red letter weeks, but uh, it's mine at the moment. So uh, all I can say is take a look at this phenomenal fish, huge head on it, really, really huge head on it. Um, you know, a magnificent creature, 86 and a half pounds. Fish known as Eric's Common and on the key again. What a fantastic bait. It's my second 80 on the key. So, uh, if that's not enough evidence to tell you that it's a good bait, then I don't know what else we've got to do because uh, fantastic, fantastic. Let's have another little quick look at him. Yeah. I've got some wicked video there, dude. Oh, did you get some film on it? Yeah, mate, filmed okay, all that. Mate. Yeah, there we go. One more look before we let him go. Eric's common. 
Right, we're just going to let him go then. And he's bottomed out here. He really is. This is sort of almost knee depth to me. Um, so I'm sort of kneeling down at the moment, but he's he's bottomed out. It looks like he's listing, but he's not. He's uh, he's just so big. I'm just going to let him go anyway. On the worst for wear. Marvelous fish from a marvelous fishery. Uh, one of the things that you always see with these big fish at, at Rainbow is this famous wrinkly heads that they have. And uh, cool, that is one that I've, uh, I've wanted to touch for a long time. Amazing fish. There it's common. Come on, dude. There he goes. Fantastic. No gas bubbles. Thanks for the memory, mate. I'm very unlikely to break my PB again, so amazing moments. Thanks ever so much, Lee. Yes! Thanks for sharing wow, it with us, wow, mate. Wow! Star man, brilliant with the camera. <laughs> Thanks to Derek as well. Well done, Shag. Awesome. Awesome. Mega moment.